All right then, so now we've created a Nuxt app, we've spun up the dev server to preview it in the browser, and we've also edited the root app component a bit as well. Now at the minute, the only content in our application is this stuff inside the app components. And we only have this one page of content as well, which is represented by this app component. So how do we add more routes and pages to the site which use different components and content? Well, Nuxt makes this really simple for us. The only thing we need to do is to create in the root directory, a pages folder. And inside that pages folder, we'd then create different view files where each file would represent a different page and route. And the route path would be dictated by the file name. For example, if I created a component inside this pages folder called about.view, then Nuxt would create a route for this page, which would just be forward slash about. And if we visit that route, we would get this about component in the browser. And by the way, in order for Nuxt to use our page components, we'd have to either delete the app component or use a special component inside the app component called Nuxt page. In our case, we're gonna delete the app component because we're not gonna use it anymore. So let's do that now. And then all of our page content is just gonna live inside this pages directory. Now, what about adding homepage component? Because before, by default, the app component was shown for the homepage, right? Well, now all we need to do is make a component inside the pages folder called index.view. And this index component will be used as the homepage instead of that root app component that we just deleted. So Nuxt won't need to create a forward slash index route for this according to the file name index.view. But instead, when it sees this index.view component, it's just going to use this as the base route of the application, the base page, if you like, the home page of the application. So now let's add a little bit of content into each of these two pages we've created. So I'm just gonna use a little snippet here, vbase, and then we'll go down to this one right here. And it creates us this single file component with our script style and template. I'm just gonna get rid of SCSS because we'll just use regular CSS for this. And by the way, I can use that snippet because I've got this extension installed over here. VS code snippets for view. So it's this one, you can't miss it when you click on it because it's got this gigantic image of a man with a view shirt on it when he's ripping open his, uh, um, his jacket. So install that and then you can use those snippets as well. And then inside this template, what I'm gonna do is just an H2 first of all, and that will say home because this is the home page. And then underneath that, I'll do a couple of uh, paragraphs. So lorem 20, and then I'll duplicate that as well. And then down here, I'm going to just add in a couple of styles. So some for the H2 with the margin bottom and font size and one for the P tag as well, giving it a margin top and bottom. So let me save this now. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll copy all of this and I'll go to about, and all I really need to do is change this from home to about so that we know they're two different pages. So now we've created those two pages, let's try them out in the browser. All right, so now in the browser, you can see that Nuxt has used that index component that we created in the pages folder for the home page. Awesome. Now you might need to refresh the browser if you're still seeing the old app.view content here, but once you've done that, it should work. Then if we go to forward slash about, we should see the about page, which we do. Awesome, this is all working. Okay, so now we know we can place all of our page components inside this pages folder. And then Nuxt is gonna create a route for each of those pages as well, based on the name of that file. But what about adding subfolders into the pages directory? Can we do that? Well, yeah. And then Nuxt will automatically add the name of that subfolder to the route path. For example, if I create a folder inside the pages directory called products, then add page components inside this folder, then the name of the folder will be added to the route path for those pages. So for example, I could add a component called hello.view inside this folder, and then the path for this page would then be forward slash product forward slash hello. And when we visit that route, Nuxt will render this hello component. Now, I don't want a page called hello, so I'm actually gonna call this one instead index.view, and then what path will this generate? Well, it will just be forward slash products because much like the index page directly in the pages folder is the root path for the entire website, the index page in the subfolders represent the root path of that folder. So whenever you have an index component inside a folder, 
the route path for that component will just be that path up to and including the name of the folder it sits in. So inside this component, I'm just gonna add a very simple template just so that we can test it out in a browser. And all I'm gonna do is just add a bit of text inside a P tag that says product or something. And uh, now we've done that, we can try this out in a browser. Now, if you try to visit forward slash product at the minute in the browser, then you might see this error right here. So this is like a default 404 page that Nuxt comes with. So I've just opened up the terminal. I'm gonna control C to cancel out of this. And then I'm just gonna start up the dev server again by typing npm run dev, press enter, and then fingers crossed, this should all work. All right, so now if we try to go to forward slash products, hopefully this is now gonna work and it does. Awesome. So that's how we create different pages and routes in Nuxt applications. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about route parameters.